President Biden wins the debate coin toss, chooses right side of the podium, giving Trump the last word is what he's given. Why he did that? Who knows? There could be many reasons. Maybe it's because he wants to rattle Trump to get him upset. So he starts off with the first comment, then Trump gets upset. And the more upset Trump gets, the better of a look it is for him. But President Joe Biden, uh, Joe Biden won the CNN uh, pre-debate coin toss on Thursday. I don't even know how they do that, by the way. Given his camp the choice between selecting his podium position and choosing the order for closing statements in next week's debate with Biden's opening statement uh, to reserve the uh, uh, stage right side of the podium, former Trump uh, President Trump selected to speak last, giving him the final word at the event. The coin toss, in which Biden had selected tails, went to the incumbent during the June 27 debate. And the debate has been conducted in strict adherence to uh, s- several controversial rules predetermined by CNN, agreed to by both candidates. Rob, if you can play that clip of somebody from the Trump camp going on MSN, uh, CNN, and he, she said something about Jake Tapper, bone. They, they already showed what they may be doing when they mute them. But let me read some of these guidelines. This is what they both agree to. Only two commercial breaks during the 90-minute debate. Campaign staff will not be able to interact with their candidate during the break. No opening statements. Two-minute answer shot clock. One minute for rebuttals. Mics will be muted just like they were muted in the scene you're about to see when it is not a candidate's turn to speak. Go ahead and play this clip, Rob. Well, first of all, it's so it takes someone five minutes to Google Jake Tapper, Donald Trump to see that Jake Tapper has Ma'am, consistently we're going to stop this interview if you're going to keep President attacking Trump my colleagues. Attacking. Ma'am, filter. Ma'am I, I, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating, to attack my colleagues. I would like to talk about I Joe Biden stating, and Donald Trump, who you work for. Yes. If you are here we, to speak on his behalf, and I, I am willing to have this conversation. I am stating facts that your colleagues have stated in the past. Okay. Now, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Debate, We're going to come back out to the panel. Caroline, thank you very much for your time. You are welcome to come back. At- well, first of all, it's... There you go. So that's kind of what it's going to look like uh, when they decide to mute President Trump. But what are they worried about? So you can't come, come there and be critical. How many people, by you doing that, actually you think went online and t- typed in... Jake Tapper and Trump. How many Nobody. people think searched that? No, oh, it's a trigger. Yeah. People, there's all kinds. I, I would love to see the Google trend on that. Yeah. Like, whoop. Yeah. And I sent Rob that bottom one, PPD, that, that one right there, the end wokeness. Look, by the way, this guy, I don't, uh, great question. I don't know. It has to be a tactical move. I think you mentioned it. They didn't think Trump was going to agree to do this, right? No, they did it's not. It's going to be a shit show. I guarantee, well, if Joe Biden is not drugged up out of his mind to make him last this two hour, hour and a half. It's going to be nuts. But why would you agree to have a guy? Jake Tapper is the most Trump, one of the most Trump hating guys on the planet. I know they always shift and people always go like Bill Maher. Oh, he said something nice. He's coming around. They've never come around. Can we play this PBD? This is Jake Tapper just, you know, over the years. The dehumanizing rhetoric of Adolf Hitler. <laughs> is once again alive and well on a national (laughs) political stage. This time, of course, in the United States. Donald Trump, a a couple times over the weekend, uh, referred to uh, immigrants from South America, Africa, and Asia. He did not mention Europe. South America, Africa, and Asia as, quote, poisoning the blood of our country, which it's not hyperbole. That does very directly echo uh, Adolf Hitler's uh, (laughs) language um, before World War II. To open up a copy of Hitler's Mein Kampf, you would find the Nazi leader describing the mixing of non-Germans with Germans as poisoning. There's really no other way to say it. Donald Trump's language mirrors this directly. Hitler, like, uh, it, uh, it drives uh, look, me nuts. It's, look, it's Trump derangement syndrome. They didn't think he was going to take the debate. He's saying, I'll take it no matter what. And I'll tell you why strategically it's going to work out. Every time they try to use... These techniques and judicial activism to to take out his legs, to knock him down. What happens? The dust clears and the poles move. Mm -hmm. This is not going to go well for them. If a fair-minded person is sitting there, a moderate watching, and sees manipulation, him being shut down or treated unfairly, then the debate's over. It doesn't matter what you analyze. Um, and you know what? You got to find out which Biden's going to show up. The drugged up one from the State of the Union, you know, the, the CIA operative wearing a mask or whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to yeah. believe about that. Yeah. Uh, you know, or what is it? But when they try Adam. to go after him, it doesn't go Adam. well. It helps him. 
the uh, the whole coin toss thing, whatever's going on here, it's just it's reminiscent of how basically politics has turned into sport and entertainment. You know, there's a term out there, you'll probably appreciate this, PBD. It's called polytainment. It's where politics and entertainment <laughs> uh, are infused. You could probably find that, Rob. But, um, you know, they say that D.C. is Hollywood for ugly people. And um, uh, I think it's very true. Now, nobody is better at getting eyeballs in the attention economy as Donald J. Trump. Uh, he's must-see TV. We all know it. It's going to be a debate versus uh, Trump and Biden. We'll see what happens there. Um, but uh, we're going to see what happens. Now, in the in the spirit of sport, what they're talking about, there's um, – uh, no opening statements. There's a two-minute answer shot clock. Mics will be muted. There's a coin toss. I mean, this is sport at this point. Um, for me, uh, the debate is who has the most to gain and who has the most to lose. Because we can talk about all, you know, the tappers, the this, the that. Trump agreed to do it on CNN. Now, is Jake Tapper uh, known to be fair to Trump? Not as much as, um, as certain journalists. And more than others. Actually, he's one of the more trusted journalists on CNN. Uh, you know, That's, insert joke right there. That doesn't say much, but, but um, well, there's a bar by my ankles. <laughs> well, I mean, it just shows how polarized you are right there. You say, tell, you know, say someone on CNN, you know, you get triggered. You say uh, someone, a, a Hannity or a Laura Ingram to a liberal, they get triggered. But they got to do it somewhere. And I would love to see uh, a time and place where um, a liberal or a fox and a conservative they could all do it together to keep it fair even chris wallace who was a fox guy now a cnn guy he was very unfair to trump but who has the most in gain to lo most to lose i would argue that if if biden just looks alive uh then he'll do well now trump uh showman um known for his rhetoric known for being a storyteller also known for being an exaggerator the thing that he would have to do in order to come out winning is don't have self-enforced errors. Don't do anything stupid. Don't fall into Biden's game when he calls him a criminal. Stay cool under pressure. What's a criminal? What's a criminal? Criminal is just a, sort of a criminal when That's you have technical, dyslexia. Chemical, yeah, technical combined term. on chemicals. Well, but Adam, Adam, you said criminal, you said, criminal on chemical. You said if he criminal. comes out and he just and if he, if he doesn't if he just looks normal, I think that's setting the bar low. Like we said last time with the State of the Union, this is a whole different ball game because. Trump is going to be there. This is the State of the Union was, you know, teleprompters, reading. The drugs mm -hmm. kind of started to wear off at the end. But I mean, this is a different ball game. The fact that Trump is going to be there because everything that he's going to say is in a review. And you guys know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> what are the three things that he's going to talk about? Convicted felon, right? January sixth insurrection. What? What else? Rapist. Co rape. Yeah. COVID. Blah blah blah. blah. Roe v. Wade. Trump is going to have. I will a tell lot. you. I will felon, tell you. This. I. I Roe v. Wade. Change six. If I had to choose, like if, if you had to choose who you like at CNN, who would you choose? Absolutely nobody. No, L you have to pick one person. Like, for example, if you have a choice to say Fox is going to moderate one of the debates, CNN is going to moderate one of the debates, who are you having as a moderator from CNN? You have to choose somebody. I think Jake's the I, guy. I Jake's the best I'm, guy I'm, on CNN. But by the way, yes. I'm telling you, Jake's the guy. Yeah. Now, Jake can't stand Trump to save his life. But let's go through it. <laughs> Better than Acosta. Oh, what the okay? worst. The worst. A, 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 and Dana Bash, is is Dana's going to be the one, the other one with uh, Jake? Bash, yeah. I, I see yeah. that. And Jay, Dana can't stand Trump. But I think it's better than anybody else on that list. Go a little lower. Uh, uh, Wolf couldn't control his emotions. He would. He and he's would, crooked and he's sideways. He, in the he'd have to go to the bathroom. He would be <laughs> very uncomfortable. <laughs> Caitlin Collins is a... Um, you know, she's already had her chance, so they've already put her on there before yeah. with Trump, and Trump destroyed her. I think Anderson Cooper would have done good. Uh, you know, it's between him and uh, Jake. Who else you have? So Jake's really the yeah. guy you got okay, that King. you have to choose. They got John King on the— By, by the way, Jones. it wouldn't pull, be Van pull, Jones. Pull up Fox. See who do you think would be fair to Biden. To do what? To have Fox somebody to I'm moderate? I'm just saying, like, either way you cut it. Um, CNN is going to skew yeah. more towards Biden and Fox. And, and I'm, and I'm more totally okay with Trump. that. And by the way, think, guess what? You think what? Hannity's going to be fair to Biden? I guess what? Up. None of it will matter. I don't care who you put in there. Trump's going to win the audience. I don't care who There's you no put in there. He's Meaning the, the social, yeah. you know, the, yeah, the people that are going to be reacting. Trump's going to win the audience over. He's already winning the audience over. The guy's already campaigning all over the place. It's it's not even going to be a... a uh, close call between these two guys on what's going to be happening. But at the same time, RFK is not a part of it. 
Okay. RFK is not bullshit. a part of it. Huh? I think that's bullshit. So tell me your position with RFK not being a part of it. I mean, uh, there's a certain threshold, I think, that the candidate has to reach. I think it's 15%. He's teetering on 10 to 12. I don't know what the number is exactly, but don't get it twisted. RFK is the most viable third-party candidate we've had since 1992 with Ross Perot. Uh, he single-handedly is going to sway this election. Now the conversation is, is he taking more from Trump? Is he taking more from Biden? But I think it's absolute bullshit that you don't have a guy like RFK on stage to hold these two presidents accountable. And anyone that doesn't agree with that is probably just a, a homer. But you just said about the percentage. If he doesn't qualify, it's not bullshit. You just didn't make it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, know, I feel what, but Adam, I feel what you're saying. If he was qualified and then they were, they were like, no, you can't go on. That's a different so there story. It is. They need to have four national polls at 15%. And he Find has, out where the national polls yeah. are with RFK. Uh, this is so predictable. This is so predictable to me. CNN, this is the death rattle of a dying network. <laughs> CNN, this is the last gas for CNN. They're even having to try and bully the other networks to present the CNN logo, all the people that are going to be, all the networks are going to be rebroadcasting it. This is so predictable to me. They want to prop up Biden. He's their candidate. They want to help him the best they can. And this is what's coming out to do it. But what they can't fight is what the American people can see with their own fair eyes eyes and trump is going to win the day with this and you are going to see it and as they try to treat him unfairly you're going to see more americans doing the same thing they did in georgia they said look at georgia georgia's not even a swing state right now no it's georgia's not. done yeah the the georgia is bright red outside of a little blue dot you know in the middle of atlanta which is fanny willis's ass right did you see you can see from space Tom, you know this is this is <laughs> it you can just see it you know, come yeah. on. You know, no, and by the way, we, we don't know. American if, if, people are swinging. But guys, the other let's, side. let's be honest with each other. We don't, I don't trust anything the left. I don't trust anything CNN or any of these people do. All right. We don't know what we're going to get. Yo, if they don't drug up Biden or have, you know, a stand in mask or whatever, and they just let him go out there raw for 90 minutes with those two breaks and they want him to fail, that's going to be their perfect ploy for everybody to go, oh God, guys, look at how old and senile and dement dementia he is let's move on we can't guys you saw it in you, you sh we showed you what he is now we have to move on yeah i was talking about cnn now you're talking about the strategy inside the the dnc which happened yeah. to agree with yeah they say look if our guy fumbles and everything and it's this thing just uh, spray the wd-40 on the stairs let's get it over with <laughs> yeah you know and um, <laughs> let's go put it in the hot spot did you guys see what trump had to say about rfk on the plane the little speech he gave no uh it's interesting because uh, nobody can give you credit, but also diss you in back-to-back oh, uh, -back sentences better than Trump. Yeah. I don't know, Rob, you have that. He's like, you know, that? they're they're not going to have uh, RFK on the stage. People say he's very liberal. I'd love to have him. Great guy. Super lefty. Piece of shit. <laughs> but, I, you know, he's, uh, they want, I, I would love to have him on stage, but he didn't qualify. Loser. But I'd love to see him. Yeah. Um, it's. Uh, he's, 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 he's America true and true. He's like America. We bomb the shit out of you. Then we like, comfort you. We feed you. you know what it is. We're nice. Yeah, that's how we roll. He's America. Here's you can your probably phone. find it on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, no, I'll, it's on I'll, his plane, I'll, I'll say, I'll say a couple things yeah. about this and we'll move on with, with RFK. Uh, I would have liked to have seen uh, RFK on there. Is that is that what? Yeah, this, this is, is the video where he's... How long ago is this? This is two days ago, yesterday. June something? 25th is, was posted this morning. At Go ahead and play this clip. Go ahead and play this clip. I know that RFK Jr. wants to try and get onto the stage on Thursday and I'd love to have him, frankly. I don't think he's much of a debater. <laughs> he's got some very liberal, <laughs> radical left ideas. But I would love to have him, but you have to get certain numbers. That was the criteria. And he's way below those numbers. He's not coming close. <laughs> so I hope to see him up there someday. But I, it looks to me like he's not going to qualify on many fronts. Uh, but he'll be there. And, you know, they say he hurts Biden more than he hurts me. I don't know if that's true or not. But they say he hurts Biden because he's a serious left person and you know what if he is that's good i don't really care i'm going to cleveland it looks like we're doing great in ohio we're doing great in just about every state we're in every poll number that's coming in is looking good we're leading just about every poll on a national basis also on a swing state basis and i look forward to thursday night it'll be great and again i saw rfk jr 
nice guy. I hope he can debate because I really think it would be a good thing to have him up there. I'd love to have him up there, but you have to do better than six or seven points, <laughs> like by about triple. I love and, him. Uh, I maybe love him. someday he'll be there, but I sort of doubt it. Thanks. Every other sentence yeah. is great guy. I love, I love him, the guy. But he's shit. shit. <laughs> by, 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 by the way, by the way, here's a, here's a thing. Mm-hmm. Do you think Trump is going to pursue the COVID investigation? Do you think Trump's going to pursue Fauci? Do you think Trump's going to go after China about Wuhan lab? Do you think he's going to do that? Do you think Biden's going to do that? We know for a fact Biden's never going to do that. Ever. Okay. Mm-hmm. But what are the chances that that's going to be one of Trump's five things he's going to do? I, I'm telling you right now, PBD, and you guys know I, I 100% support this guy. If he doesn't do the majority of things that you're saying, if he doesn't release, which he said recently, again, he's going to release the CIA documents with the JFK because we need to find that's out. Not what, what I'm asking, though. Uh, what, that's you, not what I'm asking. I'm asking specifically about COVID. What China did, Wuhan lab, the leak, Fauci, the studies of all these vaccines that they pretty much got immunity. I want to know what are the what's the likelihood that that's on his top five list? I don't think it's up there. Okay, Tom. I, I think it's on the top five list. Now he's going to have to get a lot of backlash on Operation Warp Speed, which happened while he was still president. That's right. That's so the there, there's a little bit of balance. He's going to have to walk a tightrope on on. Uh, on COVID, but I think COVID will be on the list. I don't think it's a top five list. I'm with Pat. I don't think it's a top five list, Tom. Nope. And I think it's in RFK's top three list. Yeah. I think as a environmental lawyer, what, what RFK's got is the following thing. He, he has got a few things that you can't teach. It's called your uncle was assassinated and your father was assassinated. And the day after your father was assassinated, you became an addict for 14 years and then you cleaned up and you became the top environmental lawyer in America, you fought, and then you're the only person from the left that called out Fauci, from the left that called out Biden, from the left that his own political party ousted him. He became an independent, and he's in the middle, and he doesn't necessarily have bad things to say about Trump, doesn't have bad things to say about you know uh, uh, Biden. He's a guy that is a very, very important piece of the puzzle, uh, and for me, look, if the market speaks and the market says this is the percentage you're getting and there's no interest, I don't know how much of this had to do. Like what data I would really want to know, Tom, if this was my world and I'm in the political space and I do this for a living 24-7 and we do consulting for politicians, I would pull up the data and see what happened with support on the back end and his name being searched on Google the day after he announced the VP candidate, the VP nominee yeah. for him. And then I would look at it and say, how many searches did she get? How many support did he get? Did support go up? Did money go up? Did percentage go up? Did, did and any of that stuff I would look at to see if that was an event or not? Because one can study and say, well, the day we announced XYZ, that's what hurt the company. The day we brought that talent, the way we bring this, there's plenty of ways to study this. That's a different story. That's strategically the team. Mm-hmm. And he, as leaders, can be criticized for, hey, maybe you could have chosen somebody else. And, you know, maybe his number one option was Tulsi, but Tulsi didn't want to be VP for him. Tulsi wanted to be VP for Trump. Who knows? A lot of those things that are happening behind closed doors. But no one can dispute the fact that this guy is a guy that you're going to want on your team if you're planning on going after China, NIH, CDC, Fauci. There is not a single person I would trust more than him to go after. Do you know why? Because he's a true believer. It's the only thing. I, in that specific area, when I ask him about pu- puberty blockers, I don't know enough. That's, we're not on the same page. When I ask him about all these other things, but I think RFK still got a place, and I think there's a, still a percentage of Americans that are sitting there saying, we need someone to do something with this. I don't know what that means with Trump and RFK having a meeting and having a conversation. I don't even know if it, 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 either one of them would be open to that. But if there's one thing you know about Trump, Trump follows the old playbook from Art of War, man. You know, when the guy is down, don't even give the guy a second chance to live. Kill him <laughs> on the spot. Then, after he's killed, then befriend him. That's Trump's strategy of how he is and how he competes. Cold-blooded is what he is. Yeah. Cold-blooded. Yep. And then if you realize I'm the alpha, we'll be okay. That doesn't work with everybody, but it works with most people that he comes across. Anyways, gang, this is why I love America. I'm America first. My team, my jersey is America. 
That's what I wear. Yesterday when I went to the game, Florida Panthers against the Edmonton Oilers, you know what hat I was wearing? I was wearing a value team hat. You know how many value teamers I saw yesterday? I couldn't even tell you. Left and right, we were having conversations with everybody because I'm convinced future looks bright. And 4th of July is around the corner. We told you guys we had a complete new merch drop. But I'm going to show if you're looking at the Rob, can you actually go to the store so I can tell them what's sold out and what's come, what's a uh, uh, few items are still left or not. If you just go to vtmerch.com and go to the 4th of July right there, if you can cl- cl- click on that. Okay, so let's go through. The USA hat is officially sold out. There's no more. That went in no time. The one to the left of Ayatayman, there's 37 of those to the left of that right there. There's 14 of the one, the trucker one, whatever you want to call that right there. There's a few shirts left. There, there's a few sweaters left as well. And then if you go onto homepage, there's a blowout sale of 50% that we're running for 4th of July. But here's what you got to keep in mind. If you stay at the top, Rob, the, the slides will switch. Here's what we're doing. It, this blowout sale of 50%, it's get it now before things are going to be fully sold out on 4th of July because it's still there. So my suggestion, go to vtmerch.com. Place your order, have the gear ready for 4th of July, then tag us, hashtag VT Merch. I want to start showing our folks around the world, value tainers wearing VT gear with VT hats, future looks bright, and I want everybody to start finding each other. This contest we ran with the Manek people that were in town Friday, and we had dinner at Casa D'Angelo, and then we had cigars till midnight. It was so awesome talking to other value tainers who also love America. So... Blowout sale, VT Merge. Here's the QR code. Go to it. 50% off. Uh, This is a 4th of July sale. Again, all this stuff is going to sell out one by one by one. I'm just telling you in advance because you're going to see this on 4th of July. That's the QR code. Or go to VTMerge.com. Get the gear. Sport the gear. Celebrate 4th of July. Celebrate the greatest country in the world. And have the pride when you go around to other people because that's what value tainers do we're going to put the link below as well but there's also the qr code so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one click right here and if you want to watch the entire podcast click right here